is Vivan Kohli and today I am going to tell you 5 do's and 5 don'ts in chess. I started playing chess with my mamu when I was 7 or 6 years old. That is when my interest for chess started to rise. Please do use my tips to win your next game of chess. So let's start! Let's start with the do's first. The first thing you need to remember is to take at least two of the golden squares in the beginning. The, the middle four squares are the golden squares, these four. It is necessary to take at least two golden squares in the beginning because if your opponent takes more golden squares than you, then it will be very easy for them to attack you. So here is an example and in this it's the opponent's turn. So for example the opponent's move the bishop over here. Here the bishop is attacking my king. So th this is why it's necessary to take at least two of the golden squares in the beginning. Now the second point is very very important and more and more all the people in the world know it because it is the most common tip and that is to be a step ahead of your opponent. Think of what the opponent can do. Now let's move on to tip number three. This tip is sometimes very useful. It is to castle as soon as possible because if your queen front pawn and your king front pawn are forward or taken then this tip is very good to keep your king safe. A short castle is when your king moves two steps towards the rook and the rook jumps over. And a long castle is when your king moves three steps towards the rook and the rook jumps over. And make sure that there's no peace between the rook and the king. And also, if you want to castle, then you could not have moved the king anywhere before you castle. The fourth tip is one of the best tricks to not get checkmated. It is to let your king have space to move. Never block all its ways to move. It should have a place to move like this. So this is an example and here my king is getting uh, attacked by the opponent's queen. So, if I did not have this square, I would have lost. So, as I told you before, always let your king have space to move. This last do is for the end and it is to take as many queens from pawn promotion because with four queens, you can checkmate easily. Pawn promotion is when your pawn reaches the other end of the board and then you can replace it with any piece you want. So here it's my turn and I pawn for more for my queen. Here my queen is taking the opponent's king so the opponent's king for example moves here. Now on my turn I pawn promote again for another queen. So now it will be very easy for me to checkmate. Let's move on to the don'ts. First of all, do not sacrifice your queen unless you have a plan to checkmate. Your queen is the most powerful piece on the whole game. Secondly, try not to sacrifice your rook unless you can capture the opponent's queen or you can checkmate. So here is an example and here the opponent's queen is taking my rook. So for example on their move they take my rook but here I have protection on my rook so my knight can take the queen like this. So here I sacrificed my rook and also took the opponent's queen. Next, never let your opponent take too many pawn promotions, otherwise they will be able to checkmate you easily. The 
fourth important don't is that you should never take a knight or a bishop for pawn promotion because you cannot checkmate with any of them if you don't believe me you can try yourself and finally an important rule of chess do not make two illegal moves otherwise you will automatically lose so here the opponent's bishop is killing my king so i accidentally move here and i don't realize that the opponent's queen is killing my king so that'll be one illegal move but luckily i get to take it back so again i accidentally move over here but and here the opponent's bishop the opponent's rook and the opponent's queen are killing my king so it would have been more sensible if i move on this green square over here but since i already made two illegal moves i lost the game so these were the few important tips i use in my game of chess do let me know if they prove to be useful for you or not i'm soon going to be back with the part 2 of chess tips adios and ciao see you soon hasta pronto yay